a lot of people might actually have the particular concerns about why would someone cheat and so on in, in the Souls games, but I am not a fan of cheating, but sadly the cheating is integrated into the culture of Souls games when it comes to PvP, mm -hmm. mostly because these games are not very well optimized for the sake of to, to essentially play PvP in them. So like mm -hmm. people on the consoles save scamming, they are like copying the items and so on, they are cheating in that way. People on the PC using the cheat engine and have like a prepared tables that allow you to essentially get all the items in the game, access to all the graces and so on. And this is this is this is absolutely normal, yeah, because the game essentially does not if if that wouldn't be the case then you would have to play these games as MMORPGs and mm -hmm. you can do that for your own pleasure, sure but you have to be aware that you are essentially kind of hurting yourself because the vast majority of people are going to run duplicated stuff and they are going to have like 99 of everything here in the menus they are going to have uh, essentially all the advantages over you uh, they, they are going to have like a three raw meat dumplings and you are not going to have anything because you can have only 10 per playthrough i think like i have i have only three right now here but stored i have 181 it is obviously duplicated sadly it is it is what it is these games basically it, it is a, a, a cheat cheat fest when it comes to pvp but this is what what it is when the creator of the game actually do not really bother about its state and don't really yeah. bother to to make it accessible. I mean, as you said, it's it's just how the game is designed. How many? Just think about it. How many max weapons can you get in a single playthrough? Yeah, not not much. Essentially, you would need to go through the game bazillion of times to get every single build ready. And oh, this is extremely yeah. tedious. And it's just like you know, it's, you if you, even if you are dedicated enough to do that. You are still putting yourself at huge disadvantage because what you actually what what you have done the other people is going to do with the one button click and they are never gonna get punished because well this is essentially usually like you know the enforcement of the of the rules is very important about like having actual some sort of the rule set for the game yeah technically like the if, if you are going to read through eula and of the of the game and the congratulations if you did you are probably very rare species uh <laughs> you, you you have like a information here like ch cheating is not tolerated but i'm pretty sure every single person that played this game actually encountered some sort of the of the cheating and i can guarantee vast majority of these people are never going to get banned despite something being prohibited it is not enforced exactly it, it's crazy you say that because over the past week uh, we've had uh, in, in, in PS5 Lakes, there's a hacker with like, I put a clip of him on my Twitter. He had over six or seven K HP, infinite FP, and he's just been doing this for the whole week. No, and he's not banned yet. And he's probably not going to get banned because there is no tools to determine if he is actually cheating or not. Because, well, it's from software simply has no tools like that. On the PC, you have easy anti-cheat that is also like wrongly configured and cause more harm than good. Okay, this is this one. Yeah, it was this guy. Just look at his HP. Yeah, and the, the <laughs> it's still steel, man. <laughs> 485 and barely like touch the the the, the HP bar. Yeah, interesting. 725 and like nothing goes down. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, he just farmed, man. He's yeah, man. Like seven. he farmed this HP, I guess, man.